everybody. Happy Wednesday, May 12th. I told you in my post, on my Facebook post, that I would be drinking some Arnold Palmer. I like to get the sugar-free lemonade and the unsweet tea for a little treat. I ran up and got a salad for lunch. My husband and I ate lunch out on our patio. It was, it's a very nice day. Very nice day for eating outside. So we enjoyed a little lunch together. Make sure you say hello when you pop on. Always love to chat with you guys. Know who's on here. Um, I can see eyeballs, but unless you comment, I don't know that you're there. <laughs> Um, we're going to make a really fun card today, and doggone it, I forgot to write the gal's name down. She is a European designer, a uh, demonstrator, and I saw her card this morning on Facebook, and I thought, oh, I've got to try this card. It's so cute, um, and I guess if you're a quilt maker... It's something that you might know a little bit about. I am not a quilter, so it was all new to me, but I am a card maker, and it was a really fun little um, technique to use with your card making, and I thought it would also be nice for um, scrapbooking. Hi, Connie. Hi, Vicki. It's very chilly and rainy in North Carolina. Uh, Connie says it's finally sunshiny here in Iowa. Um, Vicki, I think your cold and rainy is on its way to us because our weekend is supposed to be kind of crummy. So, um, I'm out of breath for some reason. Running around getting ready for this, I guess. Get my camera on here right so you can see. It's all straight. Hi, Kat. Good to see you. Okay, here is the card we're making. I got a brand new stamp set in the mail today. Um, Measure of Love. I ordered this uh, last week, and it arrived in time for me to use today. It's on page... Um, 32 of the new annual catalog and if you don't have an annual catalog let me know and I will um, get one out to you. Hi Kay! Um, but I just thought this these um, these little elements on this stamp set were just adorable. There are no coordinating dies or punches or anything it's just a simple little stamp set, um, and all of the things are very easy to fussy cut. I did some fussy cutting on my card. Hi, Stacy. Um, I cut out the little um, scale. And then this is the technique I'm going to show you today. Doesn't that look like a ribbon that's kind of whoop, whoop, like a double-sided ribbon? And when I'm done here, I will put in the comments or in the description the gal that I learned this from. She is over in the UK. She used centimeters. So I had to do a little math and figure it out in inches. But we're going to do this part of our card first because it's going to take us the most time. I have taken to put on the inside of my card base a piece of, I didn't write anything down ahead of time, so I'm going to have to measure. It's five by two, and this is our new um, pale papaya. I really like it. It's kind of a peachy color. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Chris. Yes, Kay, this is a great technique to use all those scraps up. And I said earlier it would be cute for scrapbooking if you just did a longer, um, you know, strip. It, I just thought it would be really cute as a border on a scrapbook page, too. Um, because once you get, get the whole thing down, it's not that hard. I made a little sample so I knew my measurements would work and would be correct. Um, so if you want to lay something out um, to 
practice on before you actually use your pretty new paper. <laughs> um, I'd encourage you to do that. But anyway, this is, what did I say, five inches? Yeah. And I am going to take a pencil, and every half inch I'm just going to very lightly put a little mark. So five is our last half inch. And then I'm going to go down at the bottom here because we're going to use this part. And again, just very lightly whoops, mark every half inch. If you're a quilter, this gal was a quilter. And so she used her knowledge of quilting to create this pattern. Um, this may be very familiar to you. I am not a quilter, so it wasn't familiar to me at all. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to use my little silicone mat because I'm going to glue these strips. So I cut six strips of designer series paper, and I'm using the new paper, the Pansy Petals designer series paper. It's really pretty. I'm using the back sides that are more, um, look at that gingham, I love that. Real pretty florals. I'm using the back side of these. I wanted a small print and I didn't want it to be, um, take away from anything else. So I did two prints. I did this little Calypso Coral polka dot print and then I did these little um, pansy prints. Okay, we've done our little um, one inch. I'm going to move my card out of the way. Get this up here so you can see. You probably can't see the little tick marks, but I've done a tick mark every half inch along this two inch by five inch piece of cardstock. And I'm going to start... I want this polka dot piece to be on the bottom. I want the flowers to be on the top. So I'm going to put some glue and I'm using liquid adhesive so this will kind of move around with me and that's why I'm using the silicone mat because you're going to want it to overlap. We'll trim it at the end. And I'm going to take, watch me do this wrong on the very first one. Basically, I'm taking this little tick mark and lining up that corner with this corner of my paper. And we're not going to worry about that overlap. We're going to trim that off at the end. And we're just going to go down the line and every other one we're going to leave a half inch in between. I'm lining that up with the tick mark up top and the tick mark down below. Now if these show at the end, the little tick marks, we can erase those so I'm not going to worry about those showing. I'm trying to cover them up as I go but um, if they show I'm not going to, I'm not going to have a nervous breakdown over them. <laughs> Remember what I always say, <laughs> it's smoke and mirrors. Okay, I'm taking the tick mark and just at a diagonal lining these up. I think I added one too many, but I think we'll be okay. I think I can add this one on the end. Yep. It probably depends on where you start um, how many of these half inch strips you're going to need. These are all half inch by three inch. This is a little shorter than three inches. But now we're going to take our opposite pattern and I'm going to line, let me do this right. <laughs> I'm going to line this up with this little corner there where it meets and then place it over to this opposite corner, not this one, 
but this one. So I'm going to take it at that spot. This is really hard to put into words. <laughs> and bring it to that spot and it's going to look like a hot mess till we trim it off. And that's why I'm using my silicone mat so if my glue is over the edge it's okay. I won't be gluing myself to the paper. Okay so I'm going to take this edge right there and I'm going to line it up with this opposite edge of this strip. Okay, we're just kind of making a little bit of a zigzag. And the little um, tick marks we made just kind of helped us line it all up at the beginning. So I'm lining it up with this side, the top, and then this opposite side of this strip at the bottom. Is that making sense to everybody? Like I said, I did a little practice sheet to kind of um, familiarize myself with it before I actually use my good paper. This will be our last one. Okay, so it looks like a hot mess right now. <laughs> and that's what it looks like on the back. But we're going to take our paper trimmer. I'm going to make sure that adhesive is really good and stuck and trim that off in just a minute. I'm going to let that glue dry so I don't get gl wet glue all over my trimmer. And then I'll show you how I trim that out. We'll go ahead and get the card base. So the card base is a little shorter than a normal card base. It is, I keep forgetting to do this. Hey everybody, <laughs> I always forget that part. It's six and three quarters. By five and a half and then I have scored it at two and a half for my fold because we're gonna put our um, little panel right there and we want we want to show that off on the outside of our card so six and three quarters by five and a half scored at two and a half to make your card base then I've taken a piece of five and one fourth by four of the basic white, and I'm going to put this on the inside of my card. This will be to stamp or to write my sentiment when I get ready to send this. See how it's coming together? And then I took a piece of that pale papaya and I embossed it with brand. These came in my mail today too, so I had to play with them too. These are the checks and dots embossing folders. So there's like a check, which I thought would be like a checkered tablecloth, so it'd be cute with my little kitchen scale. And then it's really hard to see on the camera. There's little dots. There we go little polka dots which are always great and the little checks. I haven't done a sample board for you yet on that but I will. But I just um, embossed that checks, checked embossing and this is two and a fourth by five and a fourth. Two and a fourth by five and a fourth. This will all be on my blog later. All the measurements and everything. That's going to go right on that front panel of our card. And then for the sentiment to open it up, I cut out a tag using the um, Stitch So Sweetly dies. I love these. I use this large 
whoop de whoop one. <laughs> and I went ahead and cut that out before y'all got here. And I am going to stamp my sentiment in the black memento ink. And I'm using the Our Friendship Tips the Scale um, sentiment. And I'm going to stamp that kind of at the top of the tag because I'm going to glue my little kitchen scale onto my tag as well. So. All right. And then we can just put that kind of on the center of our card. I think we'll wait and do that last. I'm gonna let that black ink get a little dry. And we'll go ahead and stamp our scale. And I'm just doing that on a um, little scrap of basic white card stock. Not that one. Woo. This is like the old timey kitchen scale. Did you notice that all the old timey kitchen appliances are coming back and that kind of the old timey style and the old timey colors? They're so fun. And then I took some real red and um, for the little, um, what would you call this on a scale? The little hand, would be a hand on a clock. <laughs> I used real red and then I colored it in with some light pool party um, Stampin' Blends. Kind of to go with the old timey look. I thought it looked kind of like the, um, I don't know. They were probably white in the old timey. <laughs> I have a food scale. <laughs> but it is an electronic food scale. It does not look like this. Needle. Stacy says they might call that a needle. Sounds good to me. <laughs> um, I meant to have this all done before y'all got here because I know you don't want to watch me fussy cut this out, but there are no coordinating dies, but these images are very easy to fussy cut out. Um, they're just line images, so not very long, won't take you very long. I'm not a real fan of fussy cutting, but some people find it relaxing. It is kind of relaxing. We all have to try and be in the moment. I have to practice that more, being in the moment. I'm always, what do I have to do? What's on my list? Did I get it done? What's next? Instead of just enjoying the moment. And fussy cutting, you just have to enjoy the moment. <laughs> and breathe. When I fussy cut, I don't like to cut along the the out the edge I like to leave a little white um, so I always cut about just a smidge outside this the outline of the image but it's all personal preference that looks pretty good Okay, we can put our card together, but first let's trim our little um, dew whoppers off. 
I'm going to try and do this <laughs> without getting my head in the camera. We could just use scissors too. I thought it would be pretty easy to trim this with the trimmer. It's just a straight line. Okay, and there it is. Doesn't it look like a ribbon that's just kind of a double-sided ribbon that's just kind of been laid on there? I just thought that was so cute. Depending on which um, patterns you use, you could really have a lot of fun with that technique. And again, in my description when I get off of here, I will put the um, demonstrator's name that I saw this this morning from. She's somewhere over where they use centimeters. So she's either UK or probably UK, but she could be Germany, Germany or do they use uh, centimeters in Australia, the metrics? I'm not sure. Isn't that cute? I just love that. Okay, and then I'm going to put my tag right here on front. So Australia does use metrics, so she could be from Australia. <clears throat> A lot of the German um, and Aust Austrian demonstrators, their posts are in their language so I'm thinking maybe she's UK or maybe she is Australian so I'll look it up and I will let you know where you can look at her stuff and I'll give her credit for this whoops sorry. <laughs> I'm going wild I'm gonna trim this it's bothering me this is bothering me a little bit This little stamp set would be cute if to make some little a little gift of um, handmade recipe cards. Um, you know, buy some index cards and just stamp you know some of the images on your on your cards and wrap that up in a little bow to give to someone as a hostess gift or someone you know who's a good cook. That wouldn't be me. <laughs> I can cook, but I don't consider myself a good cook. I mean, I can put out a meal. But it's not going to be anything gourmet or fancy. <laughs> it might be tasty. I am thinking I need to um, polish my... Um, Y'all, hold on a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna polish my camera lens. I'm thinking I've got a little something, something on there that's making everything look blurry. Now that we're all done, <laughs> no, it's not my camera. It might be my my camera that I'm looking at. It might need to be cleaned off. But that is the card. I'm hoping it looks good for you on your end. Um, really fun technique, um, really bright little spring, springy card. I'd be happy to receive this card. So thank you guys for joining me today. I will be back Monday for Make It Monday. I should have my calendar in front of me. I'm pretty sure I'll be back Monday for Make It Monday, but if I am at a different time, I will let you know. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of your, um, day, and if I can answer any questions, please please don't hesitate to reach out to me. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.